time to make this city ours. We come to this moment carried by the sacrifices and courage of our fellows, those who have fallen, those still bearing the shields to our right. On this day, our enemy will know the fullness of our determination, the true depth of our anger, and the exalted righteousness of our cause. The gods are watching. The spirits of our ancestors are stirring. And men, under suns yet to dawn, will be transformed by what we do here today. Fear neither pain nor darkness, for sovereign God awaits those who die with weapons in their hands and courage in their hearts. We now fight our way to Castle Dawa, to cut the head off the Legion itself. And in that moment, the gods will look down and see Skyrim as she was meant to be, full of lords who are mighty, powerful, and free! Ready now, everyone, with me, for the sons and daughters of Skyrim! <laughs>
Skyrim back and goes with me, but you won't. You're wrong. Aside, woman, we've come for the gentleman. He has given up, but I have not. Rekka, go. You're free to leave. I'm also free to stay and fight for what I believe in. You're also free to die for it. This is what you wanted? Shield brothers and sisters killing each other? Families torn apart? This is the Skyrim you stand want? Aside. That's not the Skyrim I want to live in. Rika, you don't have to do this. You've left me no choice. Talos, preserve us. us to divert needed resources and throw away good soldiers quelling this rebellion. It's a little more than a rebellion, don't you? Ah. We aren't the bad guys now. Maybe not. We certainly aren't the good guys. Perhaps you're right. But then what does that make you? You just said it yourself. It makes us right. And if I surrender, the Empire, I remember, never surrendered. That Empire is dead. And so are you. So be it. Just kill him and let's be done with it already. Come, Galmar. Where's your sense of dramatic form? By the gods. If it's a good ending to some damn story you're after, perhaps the Dragon Wars should be the one that you well, Dragonborn, what do you say? Do you want the honor? As you wish. This moment, we three will be immortalized in song. Some kind of speech is in order. I'll go gather the men in the courtyard. And Elisif? Don't you worry about her. I've sent my best men to round her up. Stormblade, I want you to have my sword, a token of my appreciation. Now then, the men will expect a speech. Will you stand by my side? I wish to honor you, Dragonborn, and the truest of Stormhawks.
Skyrim. I am indeed Ulfric Stormcloak, and at my side, the man known as Stormblade, and the world knows as the Dragonborn. And indeed, there are many that call us heroes. But it is all of you who are the true heroes. It was you who fought a dying empire, who sunk its claws into our land, trying to drag us down with it. It was you who fought the Thalmor and their puppets who would have us deny our gods and our heritage. It was you who fought your kin who didn't understand our cause, who weren't willing to pay the price for our freedom. But more than that, it was you who fought for Skyrim, for our right to fight our own battles, to return to our glory and traditions, to determine our own future. And it is for these reasons that I cannot accept the mantle of High King. Not until the moot declares that title should adorn my shoulders will I accept it. What about your Elise? Yes, what about the Lady Alice? Who stood aside a personal hatred for me and a misplaced love for the Emperor and his coin so that the suffering of our people will end? She acknowledged the industry calls to determine Skyrim's future. Will she swear fealty to me? So all may know that we are at peace and a new day has dawned. I do. Then it is settled. The Yarl will continue to rule solitude. I will garrison armies here to ward off Imperial attempts to reclaim the city. And in due time, the Moot will meet and settle the claim to High King once and for all. There is much to do, and I need every able-bodied man and woman committed to rebuilding Skyrim. A great darkness is growing, and soon we will be called to fight it on these shores or abroad. The Old Mary Dominion may have defeated the Empire, but it has not defeated Skyrim! <laughs> How'd I do? Eh, not so bad. Nice touch about the High King. Thank you. I thought so. It's a foregone conclusion, you know. Oh, I know. The Imperials are not going to leave us alone. They still have camps in the hills. They'll continue to strike out at us whenever and wherever they can. I'm not afraid of the remnants of the Thank you.